Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in to our channel, uh, we appreciate your support. So I'm here outside the yard, I guess as you guys think, as usual. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't have any classes by the looks of it this afternoon, so I thought I might just as well get started on the next project. Uh, it's a small project, but a much needed little project. Uh, so I'm actually here by the outside tap, let me show you guys. The, our outside tap and um, so there's a small piece of cement but the rest as you can see there's a few rubble lying around so yeah it gets pretty muddy here and once that water starts running and we use this tap quite a lot so I just want to I thought of finding a way just to so it's well find a way so it's not so muddy actually I mean, in the beginning, when we started here, we, we threw some of this rubble here, so we don't step into the mud. Uh, I want to find a semi-permanent solution. It's not necessarily going to be permanent, but um, as you guys know, in the previous video, I've been collecting all those little round uh, stones and pebbles. So I'm going to basically do what I did um, with that bedding. Uh, the bedding just here. So I'm just going to do this kind of effect. Yeah, so I just want to lie some of the stones like this around that tap so uh, so we don't need to step into that muddy area. So that's what I'm going to start, start on. Of course, uh, first thing I need to do, I need to clear all of this. Uh, so I'll clear all of this, uh, make some space. I'm not sure how much pebbles I'm going to have. I'll just try and run a, a larger area around it. At least uh, with the round pebbles, it looks kind of neat as well. And the only problem I know that I'm going to face, if you look here, if you look there, that is like cement. I'm not, I'm not sure how far the cement is running, so the pebbles are not really going to properly stick on there. So I think if I want to do a half proper job, I might going to need to fill that up a little bit with soil. So, the, so that the pebbles at least have something to stick to, otherwise... As an example, otherwise the pebbles might just roll around on it. Yeah, the pebbles just going to roll on that. It's not going to stay there, but if I fill it up maybe with a bit of soil. Yeah. Grab a bit of soil here. So I'm not sure how much cement is here. But at least there's a layer of soil. It can kind of stick in there. It won't roll around. Not sure how well it's going to work, uh, but that's the idea. Uh, I'm just using the materials resources I got um, on hand so that's why I'm saying it's probably not a permanent solution a permanent solution would really be to just cement it out more but I don't have cement definitely don't feel like mixing cement so we're going with the pebble idea so I'm gonna get started on that so of course step one clear the rubble Just looking at it, I've uh, loosened the soil, removed all the, the bigger rubbles, found a few more of the pebbles. Uh, you can see what we're we working with. So that's like a solid piece of cement there. There was some cement along the other sides, but uh, not very solid. That just broke up. And the rest is just like a slush. Yeah, it's, well, it's the best way I can describe it. It's just slush. So yeah, not the best canvas to work with. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what's the best way to go about this. I think I'm gonna start by um, getting some soil from the back. I'm gonna kind of mix that soil, the dry soil with the slush. And I'm gonna relay it. I'll just relay it and then um, I'll start laying the stones or the, yeah, the pebbles. 
hopefully yeah that will be some kind of improvement but yeah i'm not i'm not 100 percent convinced to be honest okay um over here obviously this is everything removed from there that's probably going to be another bag extra bag of rubble so i need to fill that bag with this rubble and then i'll collect some soil that i'm gonna mix with the sludge Got some, uh, got some extra soil, some dry soil. I'm gonna mix that with the the sludge, uh, so we can get a drier layer down there before we lay the slabs. That's my new mix. It's a little drier, not so smudgy and grimy. So I'm gonna lay that in there. That will be my foundation for laying those stones. All right. It's also starting, uh, starting to drizzle. So it's just gone past three here. There's a bit of a drizzle already. Uh, not a grayish day. So well, we'll see how we get on. Okay guys, so that's going to be my canvas, uh, or my foundation that I'm going to lay the stones on. Uh, yeah, hope that works. Um, it's, uh, rain is coming down pretty persistently now. Uh, so I'm just going to stop recording that. Uh, because my phone is not waterproof. So yeah, I'll just uh, give the recording a break, but I'm going to continue before that becomes sludge again. I'll just uh, back on in the rain. All right, so I'll show you the final results. Yeah, all right, guys. So um, I've worked through the drizzle. It became a very consistent, pretty hard drizzle. Uh, got nice and wet. Uh, luckily, I was wearing my board shorts. <laughs> but yeah, it turned out to be uh, quite a messy effect. Uh, of course, that swell that I laid down there also became muddy. Uh, I've used all the pebbles as far as I can get. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm gonna need to collect more pebbles. Let me show you. You can see it's pretty muddy around there. Get a higher layer. So I've laid quite a few of pebbles there. Um, but yeah, I realized the closer we got to the edge, it's just kind of slowly like sinking away. Um, so I don't know how effective that's really gonna be. I'm really gonna need to collect more pebbles and expand it just a little more, maybe on that line. Maybe on that line there, try to expand it at least till there. Uh, with regards to effectiveness, I don't know. I'll probably give it a, a five, maybe a, a six out of 10 <laughs> for effectiveness. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, regardless, it's still much better than it was. Um, the only critique I have at the moment is that it's not covering enough of this muddy area. As you can see, I've laid some of those tiles and stuff, but look there on the edges, still very muddy. So kind of hard to avoid all this mud. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to call it project completed, uh, but to be continued. All right, just uh, I'm just adding this video to the previous video, just to give you a better idea once... Uh, 
it's definitely a bit drier and we haven't had any rain today so you can see the dry effect as well um, definitely looks better when it's dry <laughs> but yeah when the rain comes down yeah it's uh, still a bit muddy around there give you a little close-up uh, see what I mean here you see some of these petals have just kind of dropped away into the mud as we were stepping on it and the rest is not too bad actually um, just some some parts on the edges just sinking away but yeah so uh, that gives you a better idea so, um, so yeah we'll wait for more pebbles and then I'll uh, I'll expand it a little wider over a larger area just to be more effective so guys thanks for watching uh, I'll call it a day go have a nice hot shower get ready for my evening classes Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. Uh, all of that will really help us out. You the door. Where Hi. are you going? We're dropping off orders. Okay. Be safe. Don't forget to share, subscribe. Uh, what did you say? Don't forget to share. No, not you. The the subscriber saying, "Hey, when are you? When are you in a video again?" <laughs> <laughs> Very busy. Uh, okay, take, take care. care. So.